So, what's so unusual about this glacier pearl? <laughs> Dashi didn't see, Quasi, but... Shiver me whiskers! It's as pink as a flamingo! It sure is! And I think I know why. It's strawberry flavoured? <laughs> no, it's algae flavoured. There's red algae growing in the snow. That's why it looks pink and why it's melting so fast. See? Normal snow is bright white. Most sunlight just bounces off it. But pink snow doesn't reflect as much light. More sunlight gets through and melts the snow much faster. The only way to slow the melt is to get rid of the algae. But how will we do that? Hmm. <gasps> Don't worry, matey. We can just wash it off, like swabbing the deck of a pirate ship. There's algae beneath the surface, too. That's what makes the snow look pink. Some even call it watermelon snow. Ah, <sighs> watermelon? You're making me hungry again. <gasps> That's it, Quasi. Oh, you're brilliant. I am. We need to find something that can eat the algae. <laughs> something that eats algae. <sighs> I am brilliant. Shillington, are you there, matey? I'd need to know what kind of creature eats algae. Algae? Um, a man or shrimp. In fact, they're often called algae-eating shrimp. Brilliant. Thanks, matey. Dashi to Quasi, the rest of the glaciers look normal. Any word on why that one is pink? I'll show you when you get here, Dashi. But right now, we need all the Amano shrimp you can find right away. On it. I came as fast as I could. It wasn't easy to find them. Me hearties, you're in for a treat. Ooh. <laughs> you get to eat a glacier full of yummy red algae. Quasi, shrimp live in liquid water. They can't eat algae from snow. Uh, I knew that. I mean, we could give it a try. Oh, that's very nice of you, but the cold might make you terribly sick. Oh dear, I'd better get you home right away. I'm so sorry about the mix-up. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. I thought we had it all figured out. Well, Shellington must know of another algae-eating creature. Shellington? Pearl, how are things going? Uh, not well, I'm afraid. A man or shrimp can't eat algae off a glacier. Oh, jumping jellyfish. I didn't know it was glacial algae. I, uh, might have left that bit out. What you need are ice worms. You're likely to find some on other glaciers nearby. We'll do that. Thanks, Shellington. Dashy to Tweak. Can you tell me how you fix the... Oh, it's talking again. Uh, do you suppose it's food? Don't know. Let's find out. You're not Tweak. Who is this? Isn't that the hangar? Tweak's octowatch is in the octoray. <gasps> Let's go and find it. No. Oh, no. There's another problem. I can't steer the octoray. Which means I can't land the octoray. Time to sound the octo alert. <laughs> Dashy, report please. Captain, we have a serious problem with the octoray. Oh. And we've got invaders on board. They're just those birds from the mountain, Quasi. A burst! <laughs> those aren't just any birds, they're Kias. Rare mountain parrots only found in New Zealand. But parrots couldn't take apart things on the octoray, could they? Kias are very smart and very curious. They learn by watching and imitating others. And they use their beaks and talons to take apart all sorts of things. Including the octoray. The rotors are stuck, so now we can't land. Tweak fixed them before, but I can't reach her. Is there something wrong with her octo watch? Aye, they've got it. Flappity flippers. I hope Tweak isn't in trouble too. Peso, you and I need to take the Gup H to find Tweak. She'll know what to do to repair the Octoray. In the meantime, Dashy, Shellington and Inkling can help you find another way to land. Super, super, Cappy. Good idea, Tulip. Tweak's original designs for the Octoray might help. Octonauts, let's do this. You sure this'll work? Shh. Ah, uh -uh. what do you suppose these do? Dunno, let's find out. Oh, oh. oh. It 
it's working. Now! Sorry, my friends, but I'm afraid we're going to have to keep you in here for your own safety before you cause any more damage. Do you suppose we really cause damage? Dunno! Oh. What if all the cargo is moved to the front of the Octoray? The added weight might tip the front down and let us land. Yeah, how do we test that theory? <laughs> Perhaps not my best idea. Well, the good news is we're about to arrive at the next weather station location. <gasps> the bad news is we're going to crash right into it. Hello? I don't suppose you're in trouble, are you? You mean, apart from dangling off a ledge? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I've got you, matey! <laughs> oh, sweet. That was a close one. Ah, there you are. As I was saying, cave wetters are likely to jump out to anyone who surprises them. Yes, all right. We're kind of the jump first and ask questions later type of wetter. No worries, me hearty. That's the pirate way, too. All right. Back into the dark for me. So long. Well, looks like we just went on one big wild wetter chase. All the wetters we found seemed okay to me. But that bird definitely told me he saw a wetter in trouble. Wait, what did that bird look like? Um, let me think. Uh, pink legs, uh, black wings, and a thin bill. The black wing stilt. That's the one. And they only live in an area near Lake Tasman. Which means we've got to go right back to where we started. That wetter has got to be around here somewhere. We're going to have to split up. Good idea, matey. Come on, wetter. Where are you? down. Um, my ears are up here. Weird. Mine are in my legs. Really? That's splashing. Are you in trouble by any chance? Well, someone wants to eat me for dinner, so I guess that would be a yes. Who would want to eat a wetter? Uh, you know us rats. We'll eat absolutely anything. <gasps> rats! <laughs> Hang on tight! <laughs> Quasi, Shellington, I found our wetter. Ran into a bit of a rat problem. Oh no, we're trapped! This is probably not a good time to tell you I'm a terrible swimmer. Look at this. Two for the price of one. Make the jump? Not really, mate. Giant wetters are also terrible jumpers. Other wetters are good at jumping, but not us. We're just too heavy. Then I'll jump for us. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mate. You saved the day. Although we are on a melting iceberg in the middle of a lake, and unlike giant wetters, rats are really good swimmers. It wet is mine. Hey, no, come on, I saw it first. <laughs> Nice knowing ya. Hey there, mateys! Fancy a party patty, anyone? Hey, nice and crunchy! Oh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Never leave a matey behind. That's the pirate way. Goodbye. This is our territory. We don't share it with nobody. So move along. Uh, don't worry, we don't want your territory. But you need to get off this mountain. It's not safe. Don't be silly. We're mountain goats. We always graze here. This is where our food is. See all the rings on my horns? That means I'm a very old goat. <laughs> I've lived on this mountain for a long time, and I'm telling you, we're perfectly safe. But there are rock slides heading your way. Ha ha, says you. 
I don't see any rock slides. Now go back where you came from and leave us alone. Um, please, if you stay where you are, you'll get hurt. You need to come down the mountain. I've always heard that mountain goats are stubborn. Then you heard right. Are you all right? Well, it's a good thing I have these tough hooves. Ah, with special pads for gripping. I see what you mean. Seems like we are in danger up here. We need to move, now! Agreed. Follow me. Everyone, this way! <laughs> Better hurry, that rock slide is coming fast. Jump! That's it, keep moving. <laughs> well, hold on, Parney. I know you're a good jumper, but you're not a mountain goat. We don't usually do this kind of thing, but I imagine you two need a little help getting across, so uh, hop on. Thanks, very kind of you. Let's go! Yet. Then we'd better keep moving! Tweak, get ready! Ready, Cap! Get in front of the gun! I'll cover you! All righty! Follow me! All yours, Cap! Thanks, Tweak! Hold on, everyone! This could get bumpy!